Hello and welcome to Medi Simplified. So today we will talk about oroantral fistula as discussed on our Instagram page by Votes. So oroantral fistula. What is oroantral fistula? It is nothing but an abnormal communication, abnormal communication between two uh, organs that is the antrum and oral cavity. And oral cavity so oral antrum fistula it's an abnormal communication between antrum and oral cavity so the fistulous opening the fistulous opening is usually present at two sides that one is dental alveolus dental alveolus and second it can be at a gingival labial sulcus gingivo labial sulcus so these are the two sites most commonly where the fistula are fistulous opening is formed dental alveolus and gingivo labial sulcus so this is uh, i have an image somewhat this is a fistulous opening you can see i have circled it with the red and highlighted the fistula opening opening with the yellowish highlighter this is how the passage is created suppose this is our oral cavity and uh, this is the upper alveolus with tooths in it and this is the antrum above it so suppose uh, what happened actually this is a uh, happened with my one of the friend he went uh, for a tooth extraction uh, somewhat uh, he was having a second premolar or upper molar first or second root so he uh, opened it uh, he went for extraction the extraction was done and but there was a fistulous opening left behind between the from the dental alveolus so this is how somewhat his face i will say his mouth from inside was looking like so now let's uh, talk about the etiology of this disease or etiology of this condition i'll say so the first is tooth extraction which is the most common and most important cause of the oral antral fistula what is this tooth extraction second is failure of uh, failure of su sublabial suture or incision to heal uh, which is usually done in calval luke operation so after calval luke operation failure of sublabial incision to heal so calval luke operation usually done for sinusitis so if it, uh, the labial incision sublabial incision which is done if it is fails to heal it may create a fistula then the third is erosion of antrum third is erosion of antrum uh, by any carcinoma and then penetrating i'll say fracture one second any fracture penetrating into the maxilla penetrating into the maxilla it may cause a uh, oroantral fistula another one that is uh, any osteitis of the maxilla or uh, some disease like syphilis or malignant uh, granulomas they can also they are somewhat uh, some of the causes of this fistula oroantral fistula so this was all about it the etiologist tooth extraction most common failure of sublabial incision to heal after the calval luke operation erosion of the antrum usually after carcinoma penetrating fracture to the maxilla or osteitis of maxilla syphilis or malignant granuloma so this were the etiology of this disease now talking about the clinical features how will you decide or how will the patient come of oral fist oroantral fistula to you so he will have first of all regurgitation of the food so suppose he will eat the food okay fluid or food or fluid passes from the oral cavity into the antrum and then it comes out from the nose so regurgitation of the food or fluids second is foul smelling discharge the maxillary antrum is usually infected many times so the discharge from it it may come to the nose or it may come through the fistulous opening so it the foul dis, foul smelling discharge will come from the nose and fistulous opening in the mouth in case of uh, oroantral fistula now talking next 
there is another feature uh, let me explain you uh, inability to a positive or to create a positive or negative pressure in the mouth suppose uh, this patient now so how will you get that he is having the inability he will be unable to blow a f balloon or I'll say he will be unable to sw uh, swallow from a straw so he is not able to create that p pressure uh, because whenever he tries to does, uh, do that the pressure the, or the air it goes to the antrum through the fistula and diagnosis of it is done using a probe diagnosis of it is done using a probe the probe is passed through the fistulous opening so the fistulous opening in the mouth into the antrum and if it is passing then you can definitely say at that it, it, uh, it is a oroantral fistula so the next is the treatment so if the probe is passed from the fistulous opening in the oral cavity into the in, uh, antrum we say that it is a oroantral fistula the next is the treatment so the treatment guidelines are different for the chronic fistula and it is different for a recent fistula or you can say acute fistula so for recent fistula what we do for recent fistula suppose you went for a tooth extraction your tooth is extracted a fistula is created and the doctor has seen it at the same moment so you do a conservative treatment with a incision uh, sorry with a suturing with a suturing of the margins with the suturing of the margins and antibiotics suppose if it is a chronic or a large fistula so in such cases if it is a chronic or a large fistula in such cases what we do we do a surgery using a buccal flap or a labial flap or I'll say um, palatal flap alright so this is how we manage the chronic or large fistula surgery is required so we do repair by using a buccal or a palatal flap so this was all about uh, oroantral fistula we discussed uh, what is the oral antral fistula it is abnormal communication between the oral cavity with the antrum so the most common ideology is tooth extraction it may also caused by any penetrating injury to maxilla or uh, any failure of sub uh, the another common is the failure of sublabial Mm, incision which is done in after calval luke operation or any erosion of the maxilla or the antrum in any cancer and etc the clinical features will be the regurgitation of fluid or food in the oral uh, from the oral cavity to the antrum uh, foul smelling discharge will come and the patient will be unable to create a positive or negative pressure in his mouth then what next the diagnosis is done using a probe and treatment is different for the recent or else acute and the chronic fistula for recent or acute fistula we do a conservative treatment use following a suture uh, with a short course of antibiotic whereas for the chronic or large fistula we do a surgery and uh, for surgery we use usually buccal or palatal flap so that was all about oroantral fistula hope you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel medi simplified thank you